magandang araw po sa lahat ng aspiring future criminologist po natin and welcome to our criminology online tutorial in this um, lecture series um, special topics will be discussed in the different areas of the criminologist um, licensure examination of course it will be discussed by yours truly um, your mentor in this tutorial um, Dr. John C. Villarmia um, Dr. John C. Villarmia Shout out po kay Drex Giritan ng Northeastern Mindanao Colleges, a second year criminology student from Surigao City. And shout out rin kay Ryan Jason Cabanilla for requesting additional question and answer videos. And shout out kay Miss Analona Arsenio, a fourth year criminology student of SMCC. And under my subject, Correctional Administration Refresher Course, she got the highest score in our midterm examination. Mabuhay ka po, Ana Luna, our future top notcher in SMCC. Yeah! Shout out din po kay Rex Dimas, also a graduating student of St. Michael College of Caraga, for always viewing, watching my videos on YouTube. Maraming salamat po. To all graduating students of SMCC Criminology, maraming salamat po sa pag-subscribe and pag-follow ng aking channel. Maraming salamat po. Okay, in this video, this will be our topic, um, the history and development of corrections. So, I have um, prepared 17 common questions that are sometimes asked in the licensure examination for criminologist okay try to assess yourself and then try to respond every question that i am going to present or i am going to show in this um video let us start number one question the code which specified punishment according to the social class of offenders dividing them into nobles middle class and lower class our choices Burgundian code the code of Kalanchao, the code of Hammurabi the code of Draco Okay, what is your answer? Our answer for this, question number one, is Alpha. Yeah! We have here the Burgundian Code. So, what is um, Code of Galanchao, the Code of Amorabi, and the Code of Draco? Okay, we have here Code of Galanchao. Take note of this keywords. We have here the most extensive and the most um, severe law that prescribe punishment okay next we have the code of Hammurabi the first written criminal code developed by Babylonia about 2000 BC okay take note also our keywords in this um, code we have here the first um, written criminal code okay take note also that when we say code of Hammurabi um, don't forget the so-called next talunes or the law of um, retaliation okay first written criminal code and then we have also the word here um, Babylonia okay that is for code of Hammurabi okay next we have the code of Draco take note our keywords here we have the citizen and slaves take note meron po tayong same punishment para sa citizens and slaves okay Next question, a kind of torture device that um, drags apart the joints and the feet and hands. We have here our choices, Iron Maiden, Rock, we have Tower of London, and we have Exile. Okay, what is your answer for this question? Our answer for this is we have here the Rock. Okay. So, ano po ba yung Iron Maiden? Okay? Iron Maiden is, take note, it is a box-like device which, or with the front hinge like a door, parang may bisagra, take note, okay? 
when the door was shut, the protruding spike both back and front entered the body of the victim. So let us say, for example, this is our uh, box. Okay, meron pong mga spikes, okay, sharp pointed steels na nandyan sa loob. And let us say, for example, is nandito po yung uh, door. Okay, and then pati yung door, meron din po itong mga um, spikes, okay, or sharp pointed metals, okay. When this door is closed, tapos nandun sa loob yung ating uh, person to be executed, okay. So, the the spikes at the back and also the spikes, okay, the spikes of this door, the spikes will enter the body of the victim, okay. Next, we have um, number three, a philosopher who believed that fear of shame was a deterrent to crime. He also quote the legality of torture. Okay? Ano po ang answer natin dito? Okay, our answer for this is we have Voltaire. Okay? So, sino po ba si William Penn? Sino po si Elam Lenz? And then, sino po si um, Rutherford Hayes? Okay, take note. Si William uh, William Penn po ay governor ng state of Pennsylvania who initiated the early reforms in their prison system. Kumaga, um, William Penn uh, is related to the Pennsylvania system of correction. Okay? On the other hand, Elam Lenz is the warden. He was the warden of the newly opened um, Auburn prison in 1821. Okay, take note. Um, develop also the congregate system. Okay. Next, we have Rutherford Hayes. Take note. He was the former president of the United States. And take note of this. Hayes was the first person um, elected as president of the National Prison Association or um, NPA. Again, the first president elected in the National Prison Association. Next, number four, an ancient form of punishment that is done through cutting of some parts of the offender's body. Throughout history, various societies have tongues ripped out and pickpockets have suffered broken fingers. Okay? Cutting of some parts of the offender's body. Okay? Our answer for this is we have Our answer is we have mutilation. Okay? Take note. Itong branding na to is um, a form of punishment wherein an offender or the perpetrator will be um, will have this identifying marks. An identifying mark that he was a former um, offender or accused of a particular crime. Okay, next we have this flagging, this is the most common, the most common um, form of um, corporal punishment before. This is sweeping of a stick or rook. Okay, flagging is sweeping. And then the other one is we have here the hanging. Okay, alam nyo na yun kung ano ang hanging. Next, we have here the law which prohibits the imposition of the death penalty in the Philippines. We have here our choices, Republic Act 8177, Republic Act 7659, Republic Act 296, and Republic Act 9346. Okay? Isip-isip po tayo. What is our answer? Okay, our answer for this question is 
we have Republic Act 9346. Okay, take note of that. It is the law which prohibits or suspends the imposition of the death penalty in our country here in the Philippines. Okay, so how about these three other special laws? Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. So Republic Act 8177 is the so-called law mandating that death penalty shall be imposed or shall be administered through lethal injection. That was in the year 1996. Okay? Also, we have here the Republic Act 7659. It restored the death penalty in the year 1993. Take note of this. Okay. Um, Republic Act 7659 um, defines some um, heinous crimes in our country. It includes rape, kidnapping, and some other crimes. Okay, pakibasa na lang po what are those crimes under Republic Act 7659 defined as heinous crime. Okay, so under Republic Act 7659, if a person committed um, those crimes defined as heinous crimes, the penalty shall be death okay ito po yung penalty and then in case the court will um sentence or will render judgment of death automatically the supreme court will have a review of such case and then it requires the vote of eight justices take note republic act 296 requires the vote of eight justices for um, a certain sentence of death to be um, implemented. Okay? So, otherwise, if the vote can um, reach 8, so the death penalty shall be reduced to reclusion perpetua. Again, reclusion per perpetua. If hindi po maabot yung 8 um, justices na vote. Okay? And then take note, in the year 2006, Republic Act um, 9346, it prohibits the imposition of death penalty in the Philippines. Okay? Next, he coined the word penitentiary. Who is this person? Answer? We have John Howard. Okay? Take note of the word penitentiary, okay, John Howard. So who is Walter Crofton, Alexander Maconochi, Sir Evelyn Ragis Bryce, okay? Alexander Maconochi, he is the person who prescribed the so-called Mark system, okay? And he is known as the father of Parol. Why? Because um, the Mark system which um, enable um, a certain prisoner to earn marks through his good behavior inside prison will help such person for her for his or for her early release okay so the mark system was um, considered to be the forerunner of our system in parole or indeterminate sentencing nowadays okay next we have um, Walter Crofton Okay, he was, um, of course, inspired by the work of um, Alexander Makonochi. He also designed the ticket of leave system. The system of Walter Crofton is um, the prisoner where uh, the prisoner will um, undergo several stages for him to have this uh, ticket of leave. Okay, so first stage for that is. Um, the prisoner will, of course, will serve his sentence in solitary confinement. And then the succeeding stages, he will be um, required to work first with supervision and then without supervision. And then, of course, he will be given the so-called the ticket of leave. Okay? Sir Evelyn Braggis Bryce is the director of the English prison who opened the Burstall institution later on um, i have question prepared for this uh mortal uh burstal um institution okay 
Next, what is the common mode of extinguishing criminal liability? Okay? Ano po ba ang common uh, way of extinguishing um, criminal liability? Is it that of the convict by service of sentence, by amnesty, or by absolute pardon? Okay? In our country, the most common mode of extinguishing a criminal liability is, of course, we have here by service of sentence. Kadalasan po na extinguish yung mga criminal liabilities ng isang convicted felon if he will serve um, his sentence. Minsan lang po may namamatay, of course, by amnesty. Hindi naman po kadalasan nangyayari ang amnesty and also absolute pardon is minsan lang din maibigay ng ating president. So, kadalasan or the common means or mood of uh, extinguishing criminal liability is through this by service of sentence. Okay? Next, which of the following does not totally extinguish criminal liability? Okay? The previous question talks about the common way of extinguishing uh, criminal liability. Now we are on the question uh, which of the following does not totally extinguish criminal liability? Kasi ma may mga may mga means po na um, there is what we call total extension at saka partial extension of the criminal liability. Okay? So, which of the following is a partial extension? Okay? Which of the following can be considered as a partial extension of the um, criminal liability? Is it by the death of the convict, parole, service of sentence, or by absolute Pardon. Okay? Answer for this is we have the so-called parole. Take note, pag namatay po ang ating convict, automatic po. There is total extinguishment of his criminal liability. Okay? By service of sentence, if the person has fully served, okay, his sentence, of course, there is total extension of criminal liability. And also, in absolute pardon, there is also a total extension of the criminal liability of the person. Okay? Take note of that. Next, we have here, it gave rise to the exemption and mitigation of punishment. Okay? Take note. Ang keywords po natin sa question na ito is exemption and mitigation of punishment. Kung baga sa criminal law, mayroon po tayong exempting at mayroon po tayong mga mitigating na circumstances in giving um, punishment. Okay? Ang choices po natin, we have classical, positivist, new, or modern, clinical. Okay? What is our answer? Okay, our answer for this is we have the neoclassical. Okay? Take note, this neoclassical um, gave exempting and mitigating circumstances. Okay? For example, those minors, imbecile, and those who are suffering from uh, mental problems, insane, imbecile, are under this so-called neoclassical. Okay? The law will give exempting and mitigating circumstances um, in those cases. Like, for example, those things that I have mentioned, insanity, imbecile, minor, Self-defense can be considered as exempting and mitigating circumstances. Okay? Classical school is, take note, this was popularized by Caesar, of course, Vicaria. The principle of this is let the punishment fits the crime. So whatever the crime committed, of course, the criminal will suffer. Okay? Criminal or criminals will suffer the same um, punishment. Okay? Disregarding as to the age, the gender, the circumstances, why a certain um, criminal commits or committed the crime. So, if the law um, prescribed the penalty of death for a certain crime, then whoever commits the crime will suffer the penalty of death. Okay? And the positive school popularized by... Um, Cesar Lombroso, okay, let the punishment fit the criminal. Okay, that is the principle of this. According to Lombroso, 
the penalty shall be of course shall be based on the attending circumstances of the criminal okay next we have the correctional model intended to capitalize on the labor of convicts sentenced to confinement okay take note correctional model capitalize on the labor of convicts okay our choices industrial prison golden age of penology punitive era or nothing works system what is your answer okay this is the so-called industrial prison okay yeah! madali lang po take note mo lang yung word na labor of convicts this is the case where in the state the correctional institutions will utilize the labor of convicts okay will utilize the labor of convicts in prison number 12 a system in which a prisoner is required to earn a number of marks based on the proper department labor and study in order to entitle him for a ticket of leave or conditional release similar to parole okay what is this number of marks this is popularized by alexander Makonochi. okay this is known as the mark system yeah! take note of that yeah! mark system so ano po ba ang contract system ano po ba ang uborn ano po ba ang lease system okay take note in the industrial era of prison okay a system of inmates labor okay these are the systems of inmates labor contract system meaning okay private businesses will pay the inmates labor okay take note um kumbaga yung mga private companies natin po will hire the labor of the inmates that is contract system okay next we have here the peace price system so ang inmate po natin ay gagawa ng mga products take note of that marami pong products na nagagawa ang mga inmates natin and those products will be bought by the private businesses or private companies okay next we have uh, next one we have also the lease system take note inmates will be required to work on site of course with arm guards okay and then we have here the public account system of course um it is the correctional institution that will utilize the labor of the inmates and of course the income will be going to the correctional institution where the inmates are confined that is public account system okay Aww. state use system this is known as the process we're in um, several agencies of the state will utilize the labor of the inmates okay take note agencies of the state will utilize the labor of the inmates okay then we have here the public works system so um, in this case the inmates are required to perform road works okay next we have Number 13, it was considered as the best reform institution for young offenders. Okay, take note. Our keywords, we have best reform institution for young offenders. Reform institution for young offenders. This is what we called as the Borstal Institution. Okay? So, ano ba yung Elmira Reformatory, Auburn System, and Irish system okay elmira reformatory take note the first of course reform institution then the oborn system well, i will discuss this later on and then the irish system popularized by sir walter crofton okay next number 13 these are abandoned ships the english converted to hold convicts during a period of prison crowding between 1776 and 17 
90. Okay? Abandoned ships. These are called as hooks. Take note, this, this word is pronounced as the same with jail. Okay? Next, 15. It is an escape-proof prison because it is an island located in San Francisco. Okay? An escape-proof. Take note of this. Tinatawag siya escape-proof kasi po nasa island po siya. So, the chance of escape is um, a very slight. Okay? A very low percentage of escape because when you... Um, escape the prison vicinity or facility then paglabas nyo po is that uh, prison facility is surrounded with water so it could be impossible for you to, to escape. Okay, this is the so-called Alcatraz prison. So ano po ba yung Alcatraz? Yan, escape proof prison because it is an island located in San Francisco. Take note of that. So, ano po ba ang Auschwitz, Bastille, and Tosling? Okay? Auschwitz, the largest German concentration camp. Okay? Take note, it is popularly known as the death camp. Auschwitz, death camp in Germany. Okay? Headed by Rodolf Hess. Okay? Bastille prison is the fortress prison in France. Take note. Auschwitz, German, Bastille is France. Alcatraz is San Francisco. Next one is we have the Tolsley. Take note of this. Take note. A human skull. A mountain-sized human skull and bones. So, it is located also in Cambodia. Take note. Tolsley is in Cambodia. Bastille is in France. Also, which is in Germany, and then Alcatraz is in San Francisco. And then we have here also the Insin Prison. It is found in Burma, now Myanmar. Okay? Then we have also Saksihunsen Prison, a Germany concentration camp. It is um, popular because of its um, gas chamber, wherein most of the victims are Jews descent. Next. Number 16, it is the first true American prison that attempted to correct offenders. Take note of this. Ang tanong. The first true American prison. Sagot po natin is we have the so-called Walnut Street Jail. Okay? So, ano po ba yung Elmira Reformatory? Ano po ba yung Panoptikon Prison? Ano po ba yung Hospice of San Michel? Okay? Take note, Elmira Reformatory, the first reformatory institution. Of course, take note of that. First reformatory institution. It is under, of course, the leadership of Zebulon Brockway. Okay? Hospice or Hospice of San Michel, we have the three words, Papa Prison. Take note of also of those who are confined. These are delinquent boys. Okay? Delinquent boys. And then panoptical prison. Okay? It is a large cellular. Yung shape po ng prison with multi-cells. And take note, panoptical prison was introduced by, designed by Jeremy Bentham. Panoptical prison. Yes! Okay? The last number for this um, video is we have here number 17. It is one of the forerunners of modern correctional systems wherein that they confine the prisoners in single cells at night but allow them to work in congregate shops during the day. So we have here Auburn, Tier, Pennsylvania system or Mark system. Take note. It is... Take note of the keyword, we have the congregate. Okay? Single cells at night but allow them to work in congregate shops during the day. This is the so-called Auburn system. Take note, Auburn system is also known as the congregate 
system. Pennsylvania is solely, take note of Pennsylvania, it is solitary, okay? Solitary confinement, day and night, okay? But due to the expense of solitary confinement, daytime and nighttime, O-born system was, of course, established, okay? So take note, open system is the congregate system. Pennsylvania system is solitary confinement. Okay? Mark system, of course, popularized by Alexander Makonuchi. Okay? Peer system, this is the system or the structure of the uh, ancient um, prisons. Of course, we're in a prison consists of several structures, uh, several floors, okay, where cells are stuck okay between floors that is tier system okay if you have comments about this um, video do not hesitate to message me personally or um, drop your comments below this video okay